I've been very lucky to be around a lot of a lot of my uh, my heroes from from recordings and stuff like that, and got to play with them and know them a little bit in different in different ways. But I, I just think uh, well, it's important to learning to do anything. There's a certain relationship of you know apprentice and master, you know, and and I I, I think that's a part of the jazz tradition and it's most things that are that are worth you know are, it's a, there's a thing of passing down and then every generation has its own take on things and relates it to their own experience you know I don't know it gets it gets complicated but 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 socially I think it's an important thing you know to, to, to be able to uh, learn from the people that have experience and and get experience by playing with them feel their years of mastery you know and, and, and just wisdom is, is you know, it's, it's yours for the taking, so it's really up to you. But I've been very fortunate to uh, to uh, be around people like Jim Hall and Jimmy Cobb and uh, got to know them a little bit and, and yeah, and all, you know, all kinds of, you know, Bobby Hutcherson, George Coleman, Harold Mayburn, Sonny Rollins, uh, Lee Konitz, all, you know, I, I just think, you know, people that have lived through certain history of this music are, are are an important way to understand what it is we're doing, what they had to do so that you can do what what you're doing. You know, they laid it out there. They, you know, lived through certain things that that we haven't just as a generation. So I think it's super important. And I just feel above everything just so fortunate to have been, you know, to come in contact with, with those people, you know. So maybe I think in every generation there's people that are very generous and there's people that are less generous and I think that, that uh, I think it's more of a personality thing. I don't think that's a generational thing. I don't think people that were born in the 20s don't want to pass on to, you know, look at someone like Clark Terry, how much, how, how much he gave to people and it's just, a, it's just the type of person that you are. But I think that jazz music being such a social thing, such a social experience that you share with other people in most cases, except when you play solo, of course. But it's a social thing, so it's not just about playing your instrument or playing how much music you know, it's about how you work with other people and can your, uh, you know, you, you're supposed to be an individual. This is music where you can express yourself. Improvisation, of course, there's an element of you choose the notes and so you're expressing yourself on a, on a, in a different dimension, a different way than someone who has to read the notes and interpret them. But, but you, you have this chance to be individual, yet it has to be in the context of a social thing. You have to work with other people. You have to connect rhythmically, harmonically, texturally. It's all about, it's just as much a social thing as it is a musical thing to play, to play jazz, to play improvisational music with people. So I think that, you know, it's a different thing where if you're a writer or a painter, it's a solitary thing. You can still learn from your elders about their experiences, but with jazz, it's about doing it with them. You couldn't be a young writer and learn from an older write, writer and sit down and write with them. It's a different mm -hmm. thing. You could show them your writing. It's different. But when you play with somebody, when I got to play with, with Jim Hall, I just felt a different thing just because of his years of and, and, and mastery. And, and, you know, so that, that's an important thing to get, get a sense of when you play with people. You say, that's the kind of, that's what I want to be. I want to be able to have that kind of empathy and ears and generosity of, of spirit. Mm -hmm.